Factorial's an awesome game, but you're probably wondering about tips or things you missed. I was blown away by the visual tips built into the game. They're mad useful, but let's start off with the basics. Conveyors have two tracks, so you can send two types of resources down the line. There's a few ways to manage this. First, inserters only input on the far side of the track. This means that they won't drop more resources on the near side of the conveyor even if it's empty. If you want to fix this output problem where one side of the conveyor is stacked and the other has nothing, just use a splitter like this and put one more piece to curve in the resource to balance the other side. But now let's say you want to keep the lanes dedicated to two types of resources. One way is to have two resources being produced on opposite sides so that the inserters use the dedicated side of the conveyor. Alternatively, you can plug in a new resource to an existing line like this. Draw the conveyor up to the side that's empty and simply drop the resource off. Sometimes it won't let you do this since the belt will curve, so be sure to put an opposing conveyor on the other side to keep it from messing up. But note that this method is a bad idea when you're reinforcing a resource. By connecting things like this, only this side of the conveyor gets anything. Instead, use a splitter to balance the output on the other side. Okay, now say you want to use these double resource lines, but only want the resource from one side, not both. So try this really handy trick with underground belts. See how this entrance piece has a roof covering one half and an opening on the other end? Try sending conveyors into one of these underground pieces so that the resource you need will land on this opening part. Then continue the track where you need it to be and remember that you can switch the direction of underground conveyors by pressing R on them. Another cool tip with underground belts and pipes is that they can crisscross without issue. However, pipes and conveyors can't run along the same path in the same direction unless you use different colored conveyors which require an intricate weaving pattern. I didn't need this in my run, but maybe you do. The last two basic tips are that fish can be harvested from the water by right clicking on them. They can be eaten to restore health, and you can use one for an achievement later on. Finally, early on, use burner miners to feed each other. For example, place two or more so that they output into one another. They'll automatically fill up the fuel slot of the one it's feeding, and then all you have to do is come and take some of that saved up fuel by holding control and clicking on the building to take all its inventory. Right, there are a few important hotkeys and shortcuts you should learn, like the control clicking on building to take everything it has. Well, if you're in an inventory, control click will take all of the same type of an item, and if you control click on an empty square, it will take everything in the inventory. If you only want one stack of something, just shift click on it instead. And if you want half a stack, use right click. It's also helpful to press the left alt key to put a picture of what the building or storage has on top of it. Once you get access to these hotkeys, check them out. You'll find copy, paste, cut, and even undo. Don't forget, pressing R will rotate a building, whether it's already set or if it's being placed. If you hold shift while placing a structure or blueprint, it will place these ghosts to help you line everything up. I'll explain robots and logistics later, but if you have them, they can automatically build these ghosted plans for you. Also, if you're trying to place buildings but a tree or cliff is in the way, hold the shift click to ghost the building down and request the destruction of the obstacle in the way, which again, your robots will try to do if you have everything you need, like cliff explosives. Finally, holding F will pick up all the resources under your feet, and pressing Z will drop an item at your cursor one at a time. Want to see what I learned about biters? Click here, and remember to sub and join my growing channel.